I love fried green tomatoes. I love green tomatoes, period. My dad, when I was a little girl, used to buy green tomatoes and make grilled cheese sandwiches with green tomatoes instead of red because they don't get like that wateriness to them. They're just crunchy and just perfect for a grilled cheese sandwich. But I'm going to be harvesting my green tomatoes before they start turning red so that I can make fried green tomatoes. And we have some friends coming over and I'm so excited because it's fried green tomato day. I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna start prepping for my fried green tomatoes. I'm gonna need an egg and flour and salt, pepper to kind of make it in different little sections and fry them. But I'm also gonna be using to dip our fried green tomatoes in my homemade tomato sauce. It's so good. We actually made them last week and we have tons of jars of it. And hopefully they don't last us for the rest of the season until next year when we have to make pasta sauce. Okay, so this is my dredging station where these beautiful tomatoes are going to get dipped and taken care of. Just like a little bit of a spa day for the green tomatoes, I think. But here we go. First, I have cornmeal and flour in here with pepper, paprika, salt, and garlic. I would recommend you use um, powdered garlic, but I didn't have any, so that's what I have. It's about a half a cup of, of the flour and one third cup of the cornmeal, and then a quarter teaspoon of each of the seasonings. So we're just gonna do this little thing here. I went to the supermarket and I forgot to get some dried powdered garlic. So that's why I have to do it like this, make sure that it's not clumpy. Okay, so that's it first. Then I have two eggs here whisked and then here I have panko breadcrumbs. I actually do my breadcrumbs myself when my, my bread gets stale. And then I wanna do an Italian twist to it since I'm going to be doing it with the marinara sauce. And I just did some Italian seasoning. You can get you know any kind of Italian seasoning that your supermarket carries. And I just did that on this, this one. You can also put Parmesan cheese which maybe I'll do that. What do you think, Maurice? Thumbs up? Yeah, <laughs> I think he agrees. So you can also do Parmesan cheese. So maybe we'll do that for that. Now, all, you, all I need to do is cut up my green tomatoes. And while I'm doing this, I have my mini fryer going. I have a tiny, you can also do it at the, in the air fryer. I don't have an air fryer. I am planning to get one, but I will get one soon. I, I see all the recipes, but I do have a mini fryer that I'm gonna fry these in. But of course, if you wanna be healthier, definitely an air fryer will work. Okay, so here we go. All you're doing, if you don't wanna get your hands goopy, very light, Take off any excess, it has to be super dry. This is where it could get messy. I just put it on this rack until I have a bunch and then I start frying. So I gotta keep doing this. Ready to go. 
go in and just in time because my friends are here. <laughs> All right, ready to fry these little babies. Honest opinion. Oh man, I'm gonna have to double dip. My mm. bad. Sorry. That's hey, amazing. This is my plate. Where are your plates? <laughs> mm. Mm. We're just gonna hang out here. Mm. I love fried beans. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.